Hey guys, Vladimir here, and I've got a Fusion 360 hack I think you're going to enjoy. So a question I get often is how do you wrap text around a cylinder without it being distorted in any way? And I finally found a method and it uses the new sheet metal environment in Fusion 360. But first I've got to give a shout out to John Hackney who helped me sort of make this mental leap when he posted this video showing how to flatten a curved surface. So John shows how to take a curved surface and go ahead and flatten it. And as I watched this, I thought, well, well, how about if you, at the point when you flatten it, what if you put some text there, extrude it, and then refold the faces? So I gave it a shot and it worked. So I'm gonna show you now exactly how to go about this. Here's what we're gonna design, basically just a simple cylinder with some extruded text around it. I did send this to my printer to test it out and it printed perfectly. On the outside, I did raised letters, so embossed letters, and on the inside, I went ahead and did engraved letters. We're gonna begin with a sketch on our XY plane, so we'll go to Sketch, Create Sketch, choose that XY plane, and start with a circle. So C for a circle, and we'll begin right at that origin, and come out, and I'm gonna enter a diameter of 50 millimeters. Next, I wanna cut a little slit here into our circle so it doesn't complete a full 360 revolution. And we'll do that by hitting L for a line and I'll draw a line straight up from the origin and then go ahead and offset that line. So we'll go to sketch and grab our offset tool, click on that line, we'll give it an offset of one millimeters and click OK. Next we're going to hit T for trim and we'll trim this little section here between the two lines and we'll hit escape Click on the first line and click X to make it a construction line. Do the same thing with the second line. And there we go, there's a little opening that we were looking for in that circle. So we'll now click Stop Sketch and we'll go from our modeling environment to our sheet metal environment. And within the sheet metal environment, we're gonna go to Create, go to Flange, click on the circle, and just take that arrow, drag it up and I'm just gonna enter a dimension of 40 millimeters and hit enter. Okay, now what we wanna do is flatten this, but we can't flatten a completely curved surface without having a straight edge. So we'll take this edge here, this surface, hit E for extrude, select our surface, drag out, but we're not gonna see anything until we change the operation from cut to join. And we'll give this a distance of half a millimeter, so 0 0.5, and click OK. All right, now we can go to Modify, choose Unfold, click on this little edge that we created here, that flat surface, and then make sure to check Unfold All Bends and click OK. All right, now we can take a look at this and we see that our cylinder has been flattened. So now we can create a sketch on this and extrude it. So we'll go to Sketch, Create Sketch, choose our surface, we'll grab our text tool under the Sketch menu, and I'll just click here somewhere and start typing. So I'll just uh, go ahead and put in my website, desktopmakes.com. Give this a height of 18 millimeters, and I'm gonna take this and drag it. I'm just gonna eye it real quick just to center it and click OK, stop sketch. Now we can take this and extrude it. So I'm gonna click somewhere here on the text, on the blue part, hit E for extrude. And I'm just gonna extrude this one millimeter and change this operation from cut to join. Click OK. And there we go. So there's our flattened cylinder that we extruded text. And now all we have to do is go up here and click on refold faces. And voila, just like magic, our text stays wrapped around that, that flat surface uh, as it forms into a cylinder. So that's the way uh, you go about that. Uh, one thing we do want to do is close this up if we want to, uh, for example, 3D print uh, a ring or, or a bracelet. Um, so we're just going to click on this surface, E for extrude. This time we're going to choose, instead of distance, we're going to go to object and I'm going to click on that opposite surface here. And we're going to change the operation from a cut to a join. And we also need to uh, click on extend faces here on the chain faces option and click OK. And that will go ahead and connect that for you and we should 
uh, make sure you just have one body here, which we do. So we're looking good. All right. So I'll show one more thing. Let's say you wanted to put the text inside the cylinder instead of the outside. Uh, well, we can easily do that just by taking our timeline here. Let's go back in time before we refolded that face. So we're back here. And so we have our extrusion there. So um, if we wanted to extrude on the inside, we'll just work on the other side of that flattened surface. And here we'll quickly create a sketch on that surface and we'll uh, grab our text. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. So throw my website there, height of 18, move that into place. And if you ever click and set your text and realize, oops, uh, I didn't quite get it right, just double click on it and you'll get that box back with the little manipulator. And so we'll get that in place and click OK, stop sketch, and let's extrude this. But this time let's go, uh, let's make it uh, go inside our surface. We'll have it do a cut. So we'll do a negative one millimeter there. Click OK. So we've got it cutting on this side and extruding on this side. And instead of refold faces, instead of clicking that again, we're just going to take our timeline and just go back to the future here. Uh, so we'll go forward with that. And right there we can see we have now our engraved text on the inside along with our embossed text on the outside. So there we go, just a quick tutorial showing you guys how to do this, a little hack here to finally find a way to get extruded letters uh, around a cylinder. Um, and an easy way to modify this is say, for example, this is too thick. You can click on the surface up here. Um, instead of extrude, we can just hit Q uh, for press pull and we can bring this down a bit to make it the size you want. Do the same thing with the bottom. Let's do that. That surface. Hit Q. Drag this up. And there we go. What did you guys think? Did you find this helpful? Do you think it'll be useful with what you're doing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have a different method of getting similar results, I would love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. If you're getting started with Fusion 360 or you're already working with it and looking to increase your knowledge, I'm going to recommend some great uh, courses or online tutorials for you to uh, check out. Visit my website at desktopmakes.com where you'll see uh, several video courses to get you going. All right, guys, take care.